you guys have turned me into a damn liar. What am I talking about? I said this is my last video. It's going to be my last power video until I start releasing the superhero TV show series. Once I start getting those out, then I'll get back into power because I want to get those out for those fans. But I have to make this video. I'm tired. I'm so fucking tired of seeing Effie is Noma's daughter in my comment section. Never mind. I made a whole video saying everything Effie has told us about her parents her backstory her life and it doesn't add up a match to gnome never mind that in this video we're just gonna be using pure logic pure fucking logic to show you guys why it's impossible it makes no sense at all that effie is gnome's daughter so this video is gonna be split into sections and i'm gonna dive into big important details we got and received within the last three episodes that shows she's there's no way possible it could be her daughter and stick around to the end because i'll also be playing all the clips of everything effie ever said about her parents her family her brother her backstory i'll be playing every single clip i've ever found i might be missing some but i went into the stash to go and get some of these clips so stick to the end and you'll see all those clips as well but as usual leave a like comment subscribe and let's get into it First fucking thing, and please explain it to me down below in the comments. If Effie is Noma's daughter and she knows she is Noma's daughter, why would she be the one to find the picture of Noma and her family, take the picture, and show it to Tariq? Why would she do that? Because if she's not going to tell them, if she doesn't want anybody to know, why wouldn't they have Brayden or Tariq approach her with a plan about the picture of anything else? Why would they make her be the one to take the picture it makes absolutely zero sense she's the one who approached Tariq with the plan about using her daughter as the scapegoat to get from under Noma so like explain it to me and then people are trying to say she is her mother and the dude that touched her was Mecca because Mecca and Noma were engaged first of all she said her mother married the guy in the video clip that I played of Effie talking about her mother married the guy that SA'd her she said they were married Noma and Mecca were engaged first of all second of all if Noma was the person that did that to Effie fucked over her whole childhood don't you think she would say something she would bring it up it doesn't make sense that she's not worried about her she's fine with working with her and everything and then she's the one who took the picture none of that makes absolutely any sense at all for her to be her daughter and then if you see Noma her personality the type of person she is she wouldn't have her daughter anywhere around this shit especially who she is she's the queen pin she's the ball she's running over she would keep her daughter as far away from all this as possible she would want her her daughter to have any idea any of this is going on so why would she work with Effie put her in any types of danger like that makes no sense once again Effie is the one who took the picture if she didn't if she was her daughter she didn't want anybody to know why would they make her take the picture explain that down below in the comments let's jump into the next section now another thing people are saying is when Effie showed Tariq Noma's daughter when she got out of jail Anya Covington her social media everything that she went to NYU when she he, when she gave Tariq all that information people are saying she Effie's a known liar she was just lying about all this information cap first of all we know this isn't false because when they are first about to kill Tariq in the warehouse and he says the name Noma hears the name and tells Kane to wait meaning she knows that's her daughter name and she wants to see what Tariq knows but of course like she said she had her daughter moved and then Effie walks in of course so she had her daughter moved Effie is there and then if you go back even then Effie was not lying about any of this information because if you guys remember after she told him that she was expecting them to be square them to be back in cahoots and get back together so she had no reason lying to him prior to him shutting her down and rejecting her so she was being completely honest now if that would have happened maybe after he rejected her okay i could see the hint or foreshadowing that she's possibly lying but no the deal was he get her out of jail she tells him what she knows and that's what happened the information she exchanged with him was true Noma's daughter name is Anya Covington and she goes to NYU now I think this is going to be a character we maybe can meet and see in season 
season four. And that could be a new love interest for Tariq because Lauren's out in the wind and Diana and Effie are both snakes. So I think we're going to meet her daughter and I can't wait because I'm tired of seeing this theory. But like I said, the information she, saw, she told Tariq once she got out of prison, that information was all facts, no cap. And I don't think you guys understand. Y'all just calling her a liar. You can't do that. That's not how TV shows, that's not how writing works. You have to set things up, hint at it, foreshadow it. There's none of that. You can't just turn around and then be like, oh, she was lying all along. That's terrible writing. That's not how you write TV shows. No, that makes no sense. Like you have to set that up in some way, shape or form. And right now, nothing is adding up or leading to that. It makes no logical sense. If they were to do that somehow, literally, it would turn into a dumpster fire because it makes no sense at all. And the last theory, and this doesn't even have anything to do with Effie being her daughter. Some people are saying she's still on Tariq's side. She's working from inside the organization to help him bring down Noma from the inside. What? Like, first of all, first of all, he was going to use the daughter to get from out anyway. So she didn't need to do that. Two, if that's the case, why was she standing there? She was going to watch him die. And don't say she knew Brayden was going to rescue him because Brayden specifically says when they get in the car, Obi called him. So talk to him on the phone. No, and I saw somebody in my comments say Effie must have texted Brayden off Obi's phone. What? No. Brayden said Obi called him, said something about green cards and that he owed Tariq. So Brayden came and saved him. The only people knew about the green cards were Obi and Tariq. So it had to be Obi who relayed the information to Brayden. And even like, I don't see how you could say Effie was working from within the organization to save him. She, how how did she expect him to get out that situation he was in she was gonna sit there and watch him die not to even mention she started shooting at them too she was shooting at them bro i ain't gonna lie like people in my comments were saying i'm hating on effie she's doing what's best for her she's making the right moves Tariq is just dumb and stupid and not moving smart bro stop it all i'm saying is, is she is a snake she's betraying someone who actually cared about her you keep y'all keep talking about her only benefiting herself but being a, a good person in the game and learning how to maneuver the game is learning how to benefit yourself and everyone around you literally what has she benefited from for being a snake she got arrested for the lauren situation Tariq had to get out of jail like what like he had to get her out and now she almost killed him and now she's at war with them what has she done to benefit herself that worked out in her favor even when she snitched on him at Cho that is betrayal people are saying he's fucking with her money but he's the one who put her in the game she was working at a candy store or a bookstore or something he gave her a product to move and actually make money to survive and then she betrayed him and even after then it didn't benefit her because she came running back to him she wanted to get back into cahoots with him once again so like People are saying, I'm hating on Effie. I'm going too hard on her. Bro, y'all got to understand. What she's doing is like, come on, bro. It's the most snakish shit ever. I just think we got to stop with this theory. Like, it doesn't make any sense. I think we're grasping at straws for anything. Like, most theories I look into or check out or think that are actually hinted at or could be a possibility or foreshadow. All this other stuff, I don't even know how these are becoming theories. Like, people are just making this shit up. Like, I don't get it. But to end off this video, I'm going to play a bunch of clips once again of things uh, Effie said about her family, about her past, about her mother her brother i'm gonna play all those clips once again for you guys who haven't seen it but as usual leave a like comment subscribe those clips are probably gonna close out the video so i'm out it's a lot of fucked up shit happened in my house growing up my mom always had a different guy around and one of them liked to touch me what this was like super fucked up shit one day i was I was watching this Oprah episode and I finally worked up the nerve to tell her what was going on. Do you want to know what she did? She fucking married the asshole. Ever since my brother died, my mom is sober like two hours in the morning when she wakes up. The rest of the day is a fucking shit show. What about your parents? 
They know what you do to get by? My parents. Let's just say they leave me alone and I leave them alone. We have a way out. How? She's our way out. You're not off the hook, little orphan Annie. You fuck up. These fools here die. Now, after seeing those clips and everything I said, there's no way you could believe Effie is, is her daughter. And if you put something in the comments still believing it and saying it, I'm going to ask, did you watch the whole video? Because it, I ha I will believe there's no way possible, especially after seeing those clips. So I'm going to just tell you skip straight to like 925. I believe that's where the clips start. I'm going to tell you skip straight there, watch all those clips, and then tell me Effie as Noma's daughter and how it makes sense. But I'm out, bro. I had to get this rant off because I thought I closed this case and made a video, but apparently I didn't, bro. Everybody, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.